What's up, James and Jazz crew? Thank you for joining us today. We are continuing on in our door anchor and resistance band series. So we've already premiered videos on training the chest and the back, and today is... Shoulders, that's Woo right. Yeah, we also did arms too. So we yes. encourage y'all to go check out those other videos. Today we're going to show you shoulders. I show you four excellent exercises that you can do for the shoulders using that door anchor and the resistance band. So we'll meet you over at the door. Hey, welcome to our entryway. So I'm gonna show you first of all how to use the door anchor and then I'm gonna go through four different exercises you can do for those shoulders using the resistance bands and the door anchor. So, I'm actually going to be doing most of the exercise, well, all of the exercises from the bottom of the door. But I do want to point out that you can put the door anchor anywhere in the door that you would like. So if you want to put it in the top, you can put it in the top, or maybe your exercise, you'd rather have it, you know, at, you know, on the side or something like that. You want it at that height, so you could put it in the side of the door. I will be using the door anchor at the bottom of the door. So the seal on our door is really great at the top and the bottom. I need to reseal the bottom of the door. For that reason, I actually, when I put this at the bottom of the door, it pulls right through. So that's just a little safety for you guys. You wanna make sure when you put this door anchor in, pull it pretty hard because you might just pull it through and you don't want those resistance bands snapping at you. So I found a way that I can still use the bottom of my door just by clipping a couple of carabiners to the bottom. Now it's not gonna slide through the bottom of my door. So I did wanna point that out. So I'm gonna put this at the bottom of the door now. And then I'm gonna pull through tight pulling it really hard to make sure it doesn't slide through the door. I'm also going to lock my door because I don't want somebody walking in when I'm in the middle of doing my workout. <laughs> okay, so here we're just going to run the resistance bands through that loop that I just showed you. All right, so now I am anchored from the bottom of the door. I don't have to stand on the bands. I'm anchored, I can step out, do whatever I need to do. I see that it's safe, it's not going to pull through. So I'm gonna show you four different exercises you can do for the shoulders. One last thing I wanna tell you, if you want more resistance, right now I have the medium bands on. If I wanted more resistance, I could put the heavier bands on. My bands came with three different bands, the ones that I bought. Some you can buy come with 10 different resistance bands. So you can choose the resistance that you want that way. I can also, there's a little clip here, I could clip on multiple bands. So I could have the light, the medium, and the heavy on, or I could do a combination of any kind that I want to add resistance. One other way that you can add resistance is by simply, like right now I'm really close to the door, let's say I'm doing curls. If I want more resistance, I can step out further from the door. Now I've added a lot more resistance. The further away you step, the more you stretch the bands, the more resistance, the less stretch, the less resistance. So. All right, so we're going to start with a shoulder press. This is a great way to help to add a little bit of muscle to the shoulders. It's also a great way to warm up the shoulders. So shoulder press, I am going to take a stagger step, chest up, shoulders rolled back, and I'm just going to press toward the ceiling like this. Coming down so my shoulders, my triceps are about parallel to the ground, and then pressing back up. Nice, slow, and controlled. Breathing out as I press up. Breathing in as I come down. So that's your first exercise, shoulder press. Again, great way to warm up the shoulders all around and add a little bit of muscle to the shoulders. Next, we're going to focus on the front delt. The shoulders are made up of the front delt, the mid delt, and the rear delt. So we're gonna train all three parts of the shoulder, all three delts. So we're gonna start with the front delt, doing a front raise. It'll look like this. I'm gonna take a stagger step, chest up, shoulders rolled back, and I'm just raising up to about nose height. Breathing out as I come up. Taking air in on the way down. Hold for a second when you get to the top. Slow and controlled all the way through. All right, so that's a great exercise for the front delt. Next, we're gonna move on to the side deltoids, this right here. Now, the best way that I've found using the door anchor 
to train your side delts is by putting your opposite hand. So we're going to do single delt raises. I'm going to step this way. We're going to do single delt raises. We're not going to do them together. We're going to do singles. So I'm going to work my right, my right delt right now. So I'm going to take my left hand. I'm still going to have, I'm still going to hold on to the resistance to the handle. I'm just going to put it on my hip like this. And then I'm just going to raise up to the side. I have a slight bend in that elbow, as you can see, and I'm just going to raise up so that my fist is parallel with the top of my shoulder. That's how high I'm raising. So my, my arms are parallel to the ground, <sighs> breathing out as I come up. <sighs> so that's training the side delt. So then when you want to hit that other delt, you're going to put that other hand on your hip and you're just going to raise up like that. All right, the last exercise is going to be for that rear deltoid muscle. A lot of people don't train that rear delt muscle. They don't isolate it. You do hit your rear delts when you train back though. So, but I'm gonna show you how to isolate it to really hit it. Same thing applies here, y'all. We're gonna do them single delt raises. So single arm. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna work with my right delt, my right rear delt. I'm gonna put my left hand on my hip like this. I'm going to bend over so my chest is parallel to the ground. I'm going to step out a little bit. Now I'm going to squeeze through that rear delt. I'm keeping a slight bend in my elbow all the way through the exercise. Down slow, up, squeeze and hold. Down slow, up, squeeze and hold. That's hitting that rear deltoid muscle. Now if I want to, if I want to change it up, I got these twisted. I'm going to put that right hand on my hip so I can train the other side. Chest parallel to the ground, keeping a slight bend in that elbow all the way through. Breathing out as I squeeze back. So there you go. Those are the four different exercises that I've found that are really great that you can do to train the full shoulders using the resistance bands and the door anchor. So we'll see, uh, Jazz and I will see you at the wall to do a closing statement. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed learning all these new exercises that you can do at home. So if you liked this series, please check out the rest of the videos where we train chest and back and arms. We've got legs coming up next week. That's right. So if you like this, please share it with your family and friends. We all want to get in the best shape of our lives, right? Yep. So. That's right. And we also, y'all, we don't just film physically fit videos. We also do a spiritual videos. So if you go to jamesandjazz.com, click on that videos tab, you'll see the first section is spiritual videos. We've been doing topical stuff. We've been doing Bible study with us. So we want to help you to grow phys or spiritually. So do us a huge favor. Check those videos out. Do yourself a favor and check those videos out too. And then also, obviously, we have the physically fit videos. Um, a little bit about those. We do full, we have some videos where we've done full length workouts, uh, body part specific, using dumbbells, using resistance bands, doing cardio in place. We've done some stuff with kettlebells. And then we also have the exercise demonstration videos like we did here. We just show you the exercise real quick and you do it on your own time. So we've done those exercise demonstrations with dumbbells, resistance bands, stuff like that. So I wanna encourage you to check those out to help you to get in the best shape of your life physically. And then finally, we have our third tab is life and relationships. If you wanna learn a little bit about Jazz and I, that's kind of what those life videos are about, us showing you some monumental uh, points in our lives, some fun uh, slideshows that we create uh, to help you to get to know us. And then also we have the relationships uh, part of it where we want to help you to be in shape physically, or in shape relationally, sorry. Yes. So, uh, I want you to check out those relational videos as well so we can give you advice, things we've learned over the years uh, in our relationship, past relationships, the good, the bad, the ugly. We want to help you to grow relationally, so check that out as well. And then finally, we want you to be in the loop with what's going on with us when we post our videos. We want to keep you up to date with all that. So if you check on the top and bottom of jamesandjazz.com, you're going to see we have our social media icons. So be sure to follow us, like us, subscribe to our Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, tw uh, Facebook. What, uh, Facebook. Yes. So uh, we look forward to having you on those as well. Yes. And if you scroll to the bottom of our website, jamesandjazz.com, you'll see where you can subscribe to our email list. You can be first in the know with everything going on. 
right next to that you can book us to speak so if you have a school or a church or a conference you want us to speak at give us the information we'll get back to you yeah. at the top of our website you will see the donate tab yes thank you so much for considering partnering with our yeah. ministry thank you for your prayers but also thank you for partnering with us financially uh, we do these videos for free because mm -hmm. we want you to just be in the best shape of your life spiritually relationally physically and emotionally so yeah. that means we do all of this free, free. yeah all these <laughs> hours yeah. So if these are helping you and you want us to be able to continue bringing more material like this, please consider donating $5. Every little bit helps. So yeah. that tab has all the information where you can donate via PayPal, Venmo, or Patreon. Thank you so much. Yeah. And then additionally, Christian ladies out there, check out that courses tab for courses on how you can become that Proverbs 31 woman that God designed you to become. So check those out. Yeah, well, we appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for just all your great comments and things like that. We love getting the comments on how much you're yeah. enjoying the workouts or the spiritual videos or whatever it may be. We love the feedback. It blesses us. And we just look forward to seeing you at jamesandjazz.com. We'll see you next time.